Yvonne Gabauer here with my therapy room and I'm going to do a journal flip through for Karen Birchall's Facebook group that is um, called All Things Mixed Media Creative Katie and I'll link her Facebook group in my comments below but every Friday she's doing a art journal flip through. So I've got this old encyclopedia that I picked up at our local thrift store. I love, love, love the texture on this thing. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty darn cool. So I started working in this journal. Now one of the mistakes I made right off the bat is, and I'm going to show you what's happened here, and I got this tip from Shannon Green. I started doing just from the front. And you'll see how the spine is starting to curve like that. And that's because I'm only working in the front of the book. So what she suggested is to work from the front to the back. So that's what I've started to do. So I'll just do a flip through. But if you're going to use a book, that's what I would suggest you do. And all I've done as I work in this is I just Mod Podge a couple of pages together. I take out a couple of pages. I didn't start out taking out pages. I was going page by page and I wish I hadn't. But anyways, I'm changing it now. So I mean, I can't do anything about what has happened to the spine already, but I can keep it from going any further than that. So I'm just going to show you some of the pages. Now some of them I like, some of them I don't, but you know what? I'm going to show them all to you anyways. I'm just going to put something underneath this cover so it stays flat. So here's a page that I did and it was simply using, if I remember correctly, I think this was my um, uh, Lindy Sprays and at the time I didn't have a dauber where you could smash it onto the page so I had to put a couple of drips and then blow it through a straw right so that's what I did with this one I used my Dina Wakely bird um, stamps on there some uh, other stamps not one of my favorite pages but you know what it's in there this one I love this was the very first time I'd ever used black gesso and what I had is a stamp from Stampin' Up and I colored it in using my um, Magicals, my Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals. And then I used, I have an individual alpha stamp set. So I, I stamped out art is a shadow of what a person is thinking. Did this in October 2014. And so I did the black gesso and then I took a white gesso and just did the middle part just really roughly. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I, I believe I used this brush, which is an ordinary paintbrush you get at the, at the store, but it is just so worn out, but it makes the most amazing brush strokes. So I keep this and I use this one quite a bit. And then I did some background stamping. So I did some bubbles, I did some hashtag. Um, and yeah, I quite, I love that one. And then I outlined it in white. What white? I don't, I can, honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know if that's gelato. I don't know if it's one of my pit pens. I don't know. But anyways, this is another one I absolutely love. So the background is my Lindy's um, Stamp, Bang, Stamp Gang Sprays. And it's one of Lee Moore Weber's sets. And I don't remember which one it is. It could be Over the Boardwalk. It could be tray chic I'm not sure but these two were out of a napkin so the Eiffel Tower is from a napkin and this sort of um, Colosseum type um, image is also from a napkin then I did my bubble stencil in texture paste and what else did I do on this page I think I stamped it looks like with a ruler uh, background stamp that I have and then I've got some more Dina Wakely quote stamps so keep taking chances uh, don't take uh, these moments for granted is what that one says and again I've outlined the border this was um, another um, um, napkin so this was out of the middle of the napkin I wrote this with my own handwriting so thank you or thank you to my girlfriend's therapist I can drink with <laughs> I like my wine I don't drink a lot of it, I just like the odd glass. Um, my brick stencil, a little bit of dots, and again, done. And I kind of just grunged up the edges. And colored in the background with purple, um, Lindy's Stamp Gang Spray. This is when I was going to do a face, 100 faces, I think I got two done. <laughs> face number one right there. <laughs> 
November 2014. That's as far as I got. This was a class that Lee Moore Weber had taught, and it was just a bunch of backgrounds. We did a mask. We cut out little pieces for her dress. I like it, and it says, I need to let go of the need to be perfect. I am enough, is what I have written on that page. So, yeah, I like that one. And then I just did some black around her just to make her pop a little bit. And the silhouette I actually cut out with my Cricut machine. Um, so that's how I got her shape. This page I hate. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I don't even know what I was thinking. I started it with watercolor. I didn't like the effect it gave. I tried to fix it with acrylics. That didn't work. I've got some scrapbook paper in here. I tried to do some um, uh, stenciling or with some texture paste. I tried to put on some stickles, I think it was, or it could have been the gloss bead glitter gel. I, I, it's just not a, it's not my favorite page at all. I like the quote, if the young only knew, if the old only could. But yeah, not one of my favorite pages, but it's there, right? I mean, it was a learning curve. This again, I was trying to stretch and do something different. So I used my honeycomb um, stencil, which I don't use that often, but I should use it more often. Lindy Stamp Gang Sprays, which I love. The shimmer on this page is amazing. And I was trying something different. I was trying to incorporate some fabric in my art journaling. So what I did was I took the surged edges off of a shirt that I had. I'm just going to try and zoom in to show you. And colored over top of them. And not quite the effect of, sorry, I was going for, but oh well. I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day, right? So yeah. Sorry, I had to change my batteries. So the quote says, uh, what you believe in becomes true. Believe in something absurd. So yeah, I, I quite like that page. Um, this one, again, this is a napkin on this side. I added, um, I don't remember what I used for a color medium in behind. It could have been my in intense blocks. Um, did some stenciling. And then the quote says, you're absolutely positively enough today right now. I did some um, charcoal pencil around the flower just to make it pop a little bit. This is all done with Inktense blocks and I love this page. These butterflies are from a, um, a Kleenex package actually that I got from the dollar store. Um, I kind of wished in a way I had gessoed over this page but at the same time I like the text coming through on part of it. So I'm kind of up in the air. I ended up doing a canvas of this same flower but I, I quite like this page. I love the shading. I love the colors. I like how this one turned out. Um, again another, um, this was with Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays again. Um, and lots of texture on the outside. This is one of Lee Moore Weber's um, stamps. And then the uh, quote says, creating imperfections is magical for the soul. So quite like that tech, or that um, page as well. This is another one, a stencil that I've had forever and never used. This is the only time I've used it. The background, I honestly don't remember what I used. Um, it could be acrylic paint. It could be my Inktense blocks. I'm not sure anymore. And I wish I would have kind of written down some of this stuff down. I grunged up the edges with black and then did some white um, gel pen around. Every flower must grow through dirt is what the quote says. So, um, yeah, I... And again, I just wrote that out myself and then um, outlined it in the in the white. And again, went to, I traced around the stencil just to accentuate the flowers through um, the paint. This is one of my favorite, favorite pages. So this one was a jelly print background is what it is. And then I did some spraying over top of some of my Lindy spray. And I used my um, steam, uh, steel shimmer, I think it's called. I did some um, texture paste and I colored it with gray. Um, oh, I've got a cut on my finger. Um, so some butterflies, some half globe things. This was another one of Lee Moore's stamps that I embossed onto a piece of paper and colored it, I think, with my gelato um, with the sort of a teal color. And then I wrote in silver pen, creativity is allowing oneself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. But yeah, I, uh, I don't know if you can see the texture on or the shimmer on that page, but I love it. I'm going to see if I can zoom in and show you that 
the details on that lotus stamp. Isn't that beautiful? I love that stamp. Another one of Lee Moore's. And then this, oopsie, wrong direction, I apologize. And then this is just some um, stencils. They are Crafters Workshop stencils. This is a butterfly one, and then this has got some globes, and I can't remember what else is on that stencil. But again, another one of my favorite. I've got a lot of favorite pages. Um, this is one I did during our craft weekend up at the lake with Karen Burchill. Um, and it's got the texture paste on it and then that stencil that says live with promise, love with passion, laugh with pleasure. And then the little butterflies. And then she had a butterfly um, stencil that I used my stays on ink, I believe, or this could be acrylic paint. I don't remember which one. But the background, I started out with black. And then I've got layers of Lindy sprays on top of the black spray. So that's how you get that almost marbly effect. And let's see if I can zoom into that background just to show you a little bit what it looks like. It is amazing. It's very um, matte finish. There's not any glitter to it at all. But I absolutely love that background. It's beautiful. Beautiful page. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, another um, page. This one... I think what I did to start out with is I just took my palette knife and the texture paste and just made a mess, quite honestly. Then I came in with, I think this was or, um, Intense Blocks, I think. I think, I think. Now this is an actual um, cutout from um, my Cricut machine on a piece of plastic. I had made a mask and then, now this is the mask, and then I also made a stencil of this tree design, and I took the mask and I gessoed it and glued it on there. And I love this page. Love it, love it. The colors and the and the white splatter. Storms make trees take deeper roots, is what the quote says. And again, you can see where I've um, done the charcoal pencil around and, and darkened the edges. But I absolutely love the texture on this page. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm a very tactile person. I love to be able to feel my pages. I mean, it's, that kind of sounds creepy, doesn't it? But anyways, I love to be able to feel the texture on a page when I'm done. Um, so yes, my, my art journal pages get handled a lot. I, I'm not one of these people like, oh gosh, don't touch that. Not at all. So here I've got my next page um, gesso. Nothing too spectacular. But what I'll do then, so I will leave these two empty. I'll probably take these new, next two pages out right out of here and then what I'll do is I'll take these two and I will put gel medium or Mod Podge probably because it's cheaper there I'll put this one down I'll take a credit card and I will just squish all of the extra Mod Podge out I'll have a piece of wax paper between here and that's how I create the little bit of stiffer page for my art journal towards the back of the page um, I'm going to just switch this around um, not one of my favorite pages. I loved it when I did it. Um, I don't know. I guess it's okay. Um, I guess maybe it's the colors I don't like. I'm not sure what I used in the background. I think it was Lindy Sprays by the looks of things. So I'm not really sure why I did these colors on top anymore. But I probably had an idea when I did it. But I like the quote. It says, one has to find balance between what people need from you and what you need for yourself. So very important, right? But, I mean, it is what it is. And then this one here was a balance page. And I just took random chipboard letters and I adhered them to the page. And then when I was done, um, life is a matter of balance, is one quote. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. Another quote down here. Life is like a bicycle. In order to keep your balance, you must keep moving. Life, it's all about balance. So balance is my word for 2016. So that's what these two pages were about. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. So if you take a look closely at this one, in fact, um, I kind of like how I kind of went, oh, my camera's not going to, come on, focus. You can do it. There we go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but my letters go over top of the C here and then back down again. So this is all of my green Lindy's sprays. And I just kept going layer upon layer upon layer. And I would do some um, splatters with it as well. So you get this really marbly effect. 
and then I just did the stitch design over top of the letters when I was done so I quite like that um, this is the next page I've got um, finished um, I was at Karen's and this is using her um, delusions paints oh my gosh this is so yummy so I did the stenciling first but then the stencils got lost in everything else that I did here so I actually took my white um, paint and a sponge and just brought the texture back out again and I'm just going to zoom in here because I've got a few different layers of stamps and stencils on this I don't know if you can see that oopsie wrong direction sorry I'm take you on a bit of a buggy ride there so I've got a couple of different stencils in the background a couple of different colors I've got the now I've got some of the green, the blue, sorry my camera had gone off so I'm trying to pick up where I left off but you can see the different layers and stencils in behind. I've got some green, blue, yellow in there. Um, let me just zoom out a bit. I know that when I started this page <clears throat> I had stenciled or um, yeah with texture paste on the outside edges and when I put all these layers of color over top the texture kind of disappeared so I took some of my white acrylic paint and a makeup sponge and just brought some of them back to the forefront I don't know what I'm going to do with this page yet still to be determined but I mean I'll finish it I'll finish it eventually but I just absolutely love these colors and I can see a new addiction starting thanks to Karen and that's as far as I've got with this um, with this book so yes that is it my little encyclopedia um, I want to do something with the cover I don't know what because I want to retain this texture that's on here so it, the jury's still out on what I'm going to do to finish this page or this um, cover off anyways give me a thumbs up if you liked the um, video please subscribe so you'll get um, email notifications when I do upload a new video um, I love reading comments so please leave me a comment on what you on what you think of the journal and I do reply to all of them so until next time, thank you very much for taking a peek at my art journal. Bye-bye.